welcome to inconsistent accent film reviews. Today I watched Wizards, an animated fantasy from 1977 by Ralph Bakshi. You may know him as the director of Fritz the Cat or the animated Lord of the Rings. And this is Ralph Bakshi's attempt at making a kid's film. We got Bob Holt as Avatar, the old witty wizard, Jesse Wells as Elnor, the overly sexual elf, and Richard Romanus as Weehawk. <coughs> and then we have Steve Graves as Black Wolf, who is Avatar's evil mutant twin. The story is basically a messy Lord of the Rings with literal Nazi imagery. Blackhawk, ruler of the Badlands, has found ancient pre-Holocaust technology. And he's gonna start the second Holocaust. So Avatar, Weehawk and Elnor sets out on an adventure to destroy a projector at Black Wolf's office so that he can show more Nazi propaganda to turn people to his side. <laughs> I mean, does this sound like a kid's movie? But how they get there? That's a mess. It's basically just lots of random scenes. Fritz! Little Sam. Fritz, get up for God's sake, get up! They've killed Fritz! They've killed Fritz! Those lousy, stinking yellow berries! Those horrible and chocolatey filled vermin! Those just make them out of the war markets! They've killed Fritz! Take that! Take that! Take that, you three! Five! You black hearted shark bull legged! Max, Max, I'm okay. I'm okay, Max. Just a scratch. Look, I'm alright. Max. Oh. Oh, damn. There you go again, stepping on my lines, raining on my parade, costing me medals. Oh, damn! Ooh. Ooh, Fritz. Fritz, get up, for God's sake, get up! They've killed Fritz! They've killed Fritz! Those lousy, sick, and yellow berries! Those horrible atrocity filled vermin! Take her! Take her! They've killed Fritz! And the story ain't that engaging, either. But the humor keeps you interested, and you don't really know what comes next, so it's that element of surprise. <sighs> now, the performances, I gotta tell you, they're pretty bad. They sound like me, pretty much. Tone deaf and don't really know what's going on. And then there's this scene. And this is without a doubt the best acting in the movie. Max, Max, I'm okay. I'm okay, Max. Just a scratch. Look, I'm alright. And it's performed by none other than Ralph Bakshi himself, the director. And he does an outstanding job. This scene is perfect, but it makes no sense plot-wise. The pacing is all over the place, because the plot is barely. And what plot there is, is buried between lots of exposition and jokes and random scenes. But the witty animation makes up for the exposition-heavy dialogue. The animation is really inspired, I think, and quite beautiful at times. But then there is this horrific rotoscoping. But that must have been for budgetary reasons. So I guess I can forgive it. And the sound design is so-and-so. Nothing special about it. But the score is pretty cool. Like, progressive rock. It is a strange choice, but it fits. It gives the movie a strange tone, and I like it. Now, spoilers, because I'm gonna show some of my favorite parts of the film. One of them is a cameo by Mark Hamill. Assassin! Technology! <laughs> you know how actors never really scream in movies? Well, yeah, here they do. Pretty sure Ralph Bakshi is mocking religion. Ah oh yes, this is a beautiful scene. Avatar is inside the Badlands and he thinks it's pretty ugly, so he starts making it beautiful. <coughs> My conclusion of the movie? I like it. It's got style, personality, which is quite important in movies. And no, I wouldn't call it a kid's film. It's not for kids. It's bloody and sexual and 
all that Nazi imagery. I don't think it's for kids. The story is a bit messy, but it's funny and the animation is quite good. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. It's far from a perfect movie, but it's a good entertainment and unique. Now I'm gonna have a wank to scenes of Eleanor.